Hey, what's good, guys? It's Will Mydell with the Creative Core, and I'm back again today with some quick tips. All right, so for today's quick tip, I'm going to be talking about my favorite brushes that I use in Photoshop. And uh, the guy that I'm uh, highlighting today in this video is Ron Devaney, or Devaney. I just call him Ron. You know, you Google him, Ron's brushes. That His name is Ron. The guy makes some awesome brushes. Um, he's a traditional artist who works as a sign artist uh, and works mostly with brushes and paint. So that's why he decided to make Photoshop brushes 95% of the time. If you, ch I found him on um, DeviantArt. Uh, that's when I was on DeviantArt pretty heavy. And uh, you can check out his DeviantArt page at DeviantArt. DeviantArt.com, and you can check out some of the work that he's done. I mean, he takes time to use some of the brushes on his own projects, so you can actually check out uh, the brushes and see how they work. I mean, they are phenomenal. I use them all the time. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, guys some of the brushes that I use out of his packs. I've bought pretty much all of his packs. Uh, he sells his uh, brushes on Daz. 3D.com. I mean, some of you guys may be familiar with that as a 3D site uh, who works with 3D models or whatnot. But they also sell brushes. And he sells his brushes on his site. And on here, he has over 106 different brushes. I mean, that's insane. I mean, he has broken glass brushes, flying dirt and debris particle brushes, steam, glitter, dry ice, dust and lint underwater air which is new I haven't seen that one I think I'm gonna buy that one um, different shapes uh, for sci-fi sci-fi shapes you know optical flares light and shadows another one of my favorites uh, explosions slime mud condensation milk um, all kind of crazy just crazy style brushes uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you some of the brushes that I use right now uh, on Photoshop a lot. First one will be his light and shadows brush. I use this a lot because it, it really uh, can create some mood in your in your photos and your images. Now these brushes aren't really for like retouchers as far as like skin and makeup and all that. This is for people who want to get creative, okay? Um, these light and shadow brushes is a must pick up for sure. I mean the way he designed these brushes to like emulate light coming through like um, the blinds in your on your window or um, the, the flare from the sun. I really like the, the, the ones he created in this pack that look like you know you're in a room and lights coming through the window. I mean he, he nailed it. I mean he got I mean for 15 bucks I mean it's a must download. Um, the second one I use a lot is the explosions pack. Not bad for 25 bucks. It has uh, a bundle pack in there for burst charges, debris, fire, glass, smoke, sparks. And what's sweet about this, not only do you get the brush with this explosions pack, you get the, the Photoshop PSD layer. So if you open up the PSD file, I think it's like maybe 20 layers in each one, and you can actually click on it and drag it on your project, which is even sweeter. Um, the steam brush is also sweet. I mean, I've ran across a lot of steam and cloud smoke, you know, packs out there, you know, over the last few years. And I always go to this one first. You know, it just gives me what I want. You know, it's like maybe 20 or 30 different steam um, smoke, you know, files you can choose in this one. I use this a lot. I mean, they look really, you know, authentic and uh, it can really bring out your image. And cobwebs, I love this one. When I want to get uh, work on my my Halloween looking images and my scary looking images, or if I'm working on a, a house or um, a location, and I just want to give it an old old type of look, like it's been out there for years and, and it's not been dusted and it, no one's been there. You just throw these cobwebs on top of it and it just looks great. Um, the milk, I use this every so often. Um, of course it's for specific projects um, but I love this because if you use this brush you know, right 
um, you can really create some different type of stuff. I mean, not only that, if you just throw a color layer on top of this, I mean, you can create just something different, you know. I mean, these milk shots are just really awesome. And they look authentic, that's the best thing about them. It has 90, 96 different um, uh, brush strokes in this one. Uh, the slime, I love this one. <laughs> I really love this. And um, you can use it in so many different ways. I mean, I know he has a, a crazy looking, demon looking thing that looks like some off of some Halloween movie. But this slime pack, man, I've used it on like, like, like the snot of a kid's nose or you know anything that that might look like mucus like this this bamboo um it's eight you know with the look at this this is cool i mean and then i mean once you play it like the blood around the eye once you play around with the blending modes you can it's, it's no limit to what you can create um the flying dirt and debris brush is really awesome for you know guys like busting through an area of, you know uh if you're out and about on the outside, uh, if you're using an outside project and you just want some dust and some dirt flying everywhere, if it's like a fight scene or, you know, you, you want that really cinematic look. You know, look at this, this is pretty cool. I mean, he does it, he really does his job with these brushes. Same thing with this dust and lint brush. Uh, just like the name says, dust and lint kind of gives it, I want to say a vintage look, but you know, it looks like dust and lint. <laughs> I don't know how to explain anything else outside of that. But yeah, this this brush I'm probably going to purchase today. You know, I'm always looking for underwater bubbles. You always see a lot of people doing Photoshop projects with, you know, elephants and all type of things walking underwater, but they're on top of a sky and, you know, kind of crazy photo manipulations. You see them every day on Instagram. But um, these underwater bubbles are kind of hard to find. Uh, unique ones uh, it's almost like you see the same ones you know every now and then it's, it's great when someone can just go grab a, a water tank and just drop a bunch of stuff in there or put something under and create different packs you know to, to keep you know fresh material out there so everyone's not using this, the exact same bubbles I mean I know, I know you can open another brush and mask out some to kind of give it an original look but yeah so that's my tip for the day ron i got i got an email this dude and ask what his last name is i don't want to say it and mess it up but yeah ron's brushes go cop that i think that's how they say that right <laughs> man go pick up some of this dude's brushes man i mean these things work awesome if anything get this get this lights and shadows brush you're gonna love it and the steam for sure i know those two i use all the time and explosions whenever I want to um, get creative because the smoke even the smoke if I'm not using a steam brush I'll jump back and forth between the smoke brush with that but yeah go pick it up all right so that's my tip for today don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, thank you guys for watching and stopping by like the video if you like it drop a comment and uh, I'll talk to you guys later